What is going on, Movie Meals? Hope you're all doing really good out there. Uh, this is going to be a quick review for Spiral from the Book of Saw. And I know that this is very late. I apologize about that. Uh, it just, schedules have been crazy. I was able to see this movie, but things just got out of hand for us throughout the week. But uh, we are still wanting to give you guys reviews as quickly as we can anyway. So uh, here you go, a, a quick review for Spiral. But before that, uh, we want to give our shout out to our Patreon members, Kimberly, Karen, and Steve. Thank you guys so much, as always, for being members. And for anyone else who wants to be a Patreon member, the link is down below in the description, as is a link to our merch page in case if any of you want to check out uh, the stuff that we have in our store and for the upcoming stuff that we are going to have in the future. Uh, so Spiral, it's a detective story set in the world of Saw, and it's about Chris Rock, who is the only... Uh, good cop in his uh, district. Uh, he's surrounded by a bunch of corrupt cops around him and none of them like him all that much, which has made him angry and bitter towards uh, his job and his personal life. Um, but then the jigsaw killer, or at least a copycat by the looks of things, seems to um, be taking down all these cops, seems to be murdering them with, you know, the gore and the traps that we've seen from the other Saw movies before and as a result Chris Rock has to figure out who this murderer is and while some of you probably have seen the Saw movies I have to be honest I have not seen a single Saw movie at all this was my introduction to the Saw franchise and th these movies never seem like my cup of tea um, I'm sure that you know some of them are very good and they're very entertaining in some moments but it, it the genre just hasn't been for me that sort of horror uh, torture type stuff that these Saw movies are really well known for. Just never has been my cup of tea, but what I thought would be intriguing from this movie was, well, for one thing, it's Chris Rock in, like, a serious lead role, and, you know, I already like Chris Rock from his comedy chops and his roots, but I, I need to see what he is as a dramatic actor, so that intrigued me, but also a, a, a Saw movie, you know, with the same sort of things that we've seen, or at least you guys may have seen from other Saw movies, but uh, it's encapsulated within a mystery movie, almost in the way of like how Seven is as a movie. And I thought that was really intriguing, at least with something pretty different uh, that we can get to really reinvigorate this uh, franchise as a whole. And so I, while I did like um, how the Saw elements are incorporated into this movie, I'm not sure if it has reinvigorated the franchise at this point. Um, from what I'm hearing is that it feels, you know, some of them are creative, but for the most part, it still feels like the same old, same old type of stuff that we, or that people, other people have seen before. And so while for me being introduced to this, it felt like it worked within the realm of the story and also, you know, was entertaining enough and, you know, got the reaction that these movies are really trying to get out of you as an audience member, but... I I guess I, I also have been hearing and can be understanding that, you know, at this point it's too low too late. There have been like what, eight other movies I think there there uh, has been. That seems about right. So I, I get where people could be coming from. But um, I, I still thought that those were pretty good. And I still really enjoyed the mystery as a whole. The sort of who done it, who's behind all of these um, uh, murders that have been going on throughout the movie. It, it, may, it may be a bit basic, but... The outcome and the story threads of how the mystery unravels is was still intriguing enough to where I was able to buy into it. Not one of the best uh, mysteries I've seen in a while, but at least it was enough to where I could be bought in and I was still able to be entertained by it. But really the issues within this movie is the stories. It, it's within the script and honestly a bit within the direction as well. Um, the script is, is filled with cliches. I mean... Cliched lines, cliched one-liners, um, you know, the, the basic run-the-mill characters that we kind of know throughout all all these different types of mystery movies that, we, that we've seen over and over again. And it, it really doesn't do a, much favors for the actors as well, especially for Chris Rock, who I could tell that he was out of his element, out of his comfort zone. And it just, it, you you could tell that he was really struggling with it. I have heard that he was good in the lead role of Fargo, the uh, anthology series uh, for the one season that he was in. That's still something that I want to check out and see if he does a much better job in that than he did here. But it, it could be a result of maybe he's just not quite there yet as a dramatic actor, and this is just a leeway into having him really become a good dramatic actor, which 
you know, it's very possible. It's just unfortunate that it doesn't work for this movie. But I do think a part of it also is within the writing and within a director that, um, by my accounts, probably doesn't do the best directing for actors. Like, he doesn't really lend his directing capabilities to really get the best performance out of his actors. Uh, it seems within his filmography that he's worked on other past Saw movies, and something tells me those aren't really made noticeable by the acting, if you get what I'm saying. So uh, I, I think it, that could have been a big problem for Chris Rock as well. And, and I felt really bad because I really want him to succeed in this movie. So uh, I guess I'll just wrap it up. Definitely not the best mystery I've seen. Definitely not the worst. I mean, with a couple of tweaks to the script, it really could have been, you know, a good murder or good mystery movie. And it really could have been possibly a good movie for the Saw franchise, but it also could just be, a, you know, just a reality that this could be too little too late. So uh, I, I do wonder, though, if anyone else has seen this movie, comment below and let us know what your thoughts on it. And please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video around, as well as our other videos. And as always, thanks for watching Alex's Mom, and we'll see you later, guys.